Okay. Welcome to the Agora. I am Bodhi Agora here underneath the bridge with Paul Gordon. I am Paul Gordon. And and where, where who, who who lives under bridges? Trolls. Trolls. <laughs> you know where? My people. These are we're my essentially, people. We're we're essentially that that indiscriminate border. We're in that passageway. Yeah. But. But essentially, a lot of people get confused. Uh, I just want to clear this up for 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 people that follow me and me and Mr. Paul Gordon. I am Paul Gordon. He. This is Paul Gordon. I am Paul uh, Gordon. If you've if you've not seen him before, he is Paul Gordon. I am Paul. Gordon. He is the Gordon of Paul. I am the Gordon of Paul. Yeah, I can't wait to give him a hug. Uh, uh, oh gosh, do you do a little. Do you do hugs? Oh, I do tongues too. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't carry through with it. That's a bridge too far for me. Speaking of bridges. <laughs> if we're on stage live together ever, I might have to tongue kiss you. No. No, you that's that's an objective uh non-fact. <laughs> that's objectively not true. Do it, you won't. Yeah, I will. Oh, you I mean you know, unless you want to rape me, uh because there's not gonna be a willingness on my part. So you're gonna coerce against me? Is that what you're saying? I will I will get you going. Get me drunk and hand me a blunt. No, it's a cigar, Paul. Be sure you inhale, but you don't inhale cigars. No, this is a special cigar. Ooh, you gotta ooh. yeah. You you might feel a little lightheaded. Yeah, a lot lot lightheaded. Yeah. A lot lightheaded. So anyway, uh, trolls. We're trolls. Trolls. We're we're essentially trolls. But we're not really trolls. We're not trying to we're be. Gonna, we're not trying we, to we, be. We 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 make these posts. About an observation of, of, of the way things are. Or the way we, I'll say it, the way we think things. The way we see them. We, we, we might not be right, but we right. think we're right. We think we're right. We're making an observation about this is what we see. And now people immediately, well, not immediately. Some people get it. But there's often the case where people will assume that we're saying that is how it has to be. Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. And not necessarily. That is not necessarily the case. And uh, this happened today on a post where I said, no one, no one deserves. And no one deserves. No one deserves. No, no one deserves. Where are you getting and this I, affected I, thing then, from and, today? And, what, and, what is this? And, I don't recognize this Bodhi. And, 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 and what Bodhi? No, 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 no Bodhi? one deserves. No one deserves. No one deserves. <laughs> Okay. No one deserves. Okay. Right. All right. All right. 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 No one. I saw that post. No one deserves. But no I, one deserves. And I disagree. And then I, I had, I had Harley White was like, "Well, you don't think murderers and rapists deserve death?" And I was like, "I didn't, I didn't say that." Well, you said no one deserves anything, right? What did you say? No one. What was I? I can't remember the exact right. phrase. What was it's it? Basically, no, no one deserves, but also no one deserves to be murdered or raped. Okay. So automatically, I, if I say no one deserves, that doesn't mean I support rape or murder. Well, no, not necessarily. And it but, and it doesn't speak but, to my preference of how I would treat <laughs> rapists and murderers. Okay, so so you're speaking in the paradigm or within a framework of of uh, preference, right? That's what I call mm -hmm. it—a framework of preference. Yes, and, you, and this you, has been you, very handy for me. You have a framework of preference? I mean, here's a starting point, a framework of professed preference. I prefer that the human race continue to exist. I prefer that the human race does not continue to exist. Both of those are preferences. If you they have prefer no bearing. That they the have human no bearing race, on what right, happens. Right, right. If you prefer that the human race does not exist, then you will not form standards for murder <laughs> it won't exist for you you're right. probably not going to be long for this world but <laughs> it, you know right it yeah, won't but exist that's, for you. that's not what we speak to right we're, we're, we're bringing people's awareness of their uh I, well what i try to do is bring people's awareness of their preferences you know yeah. it, uh especially with specific arguments um and I try to be as vague as possible for a reason, um, because I want to leave. The, I want the door to be open. I want more people to come in. I want people to project, so that we can highlight these things and, and have them understand that them saying what has to be doesn't have to be. 
Even if I prefer it to be. Even if you prefer it to be. But what you're really trying to say is that that is what you prefer. And that's totally fine. Yeah. And I think if we do that, a lot of people could actually come to some uh, understanding without having to force their ideas upon one another. See, to me, the idea of of coming to terms with the subjective reality of value is... Oh, that's huge. What is that? Huge. huge. It's, Hugely. It's, it's, it's a, I believe it's a major step in... And I'm using this word loosely. I'm just going to use this word. I could I could deconstruct this word, but I'm not going to do it right now. In owning your thoughts, in owning your actions, mm-hmm. when you when you create a world in which you are justifying yourself rather than owning your preference, yes. uh, I believe that 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 takes you right back down the path towards some sort of um, appeal to authority that exists outside of yourself, right? I because that's essentially, how states came into being, right? Because because that that makes the the the, the state essentially the collective will of people who have a similar preference, the, thus enforcing it on those who may not have that preference. Not sure I follow you. Walk that out for me. Uh, okay, so so when you state a preference as a I call it statementism. Okay. Um, you basically don't understand it's just your preference, your subjective value. Well, yeah. So it's your subjective value. So the state the state forms the state forms when there is a summation, a summation of similar values. I think the state forms when there is a surrender to authority outside yourself. And uh, essentially, maybe in the name of a preference. Well, you're, yeah, and well, comfort. Well, <laughs> you want to get into preference and the idea that people that are within that state system, that they don't prefer it. They do. They, they do. They prefer what authority outside of themselves offers them. Otherwise, they would reject it. Otherwise, it they would, would fundamentally reject it. And it wouldn't exist. Right. It, it, it is a reflection of the reality of a framework of preference. That's what yes. the state is. The state is a base. It's, it's a summa- I think it's a summation and a submission too. And, and, and well, well, some of it is individuals who they absolutely want the state. They, they totally want the state. And, I think there's and, a lot of anarchists that prefer the state. Because without the state, they would have nothing to complain about, and they would be responsible for the way things are. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't read into the intention of of, of some of the folks no. that. But but I think that's probably true for some. I think some all absolutely uh, believe that uh, that you can use the state to deconstruct the state. I don't agree with that, but I could, you know. Like, uh, that's yeah. That's neither that's, here nor there, but but I think some of them, yeah. I, you I can't you can't you can't is, have your cake and eat it too. State is a powerful boogeyman, but <laughs> the, the the there are people that exist within the state that they what they do is they create these absolute standards. They call them absolute yes. standards. They declare that they're absolute standards. Those are basically laws. These absolute stand laws, what not necessarily laws. The, the 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 standards actually validate the laws. So the standard right. is you know respect yeah. authority or okay. whatever your standards are, and they create these absolute standards that free them from having to face the responsibility that they've bought into a system that deep down they know murders people, steals from people, and kidnaps people and cages people. Who have done no harm to others. They know because this of. deep down. Right. And then you have on the other side, you have anarchists. I believe that they're also using this belief that there are, uh, well, I, I do want to clarify that I actually do believe that there are absolute truths and absolute standards. I'm just not sure that human beings can absolutely see them. But 
uh, be that as, but but be that as it may, with with the information that I have, all I see is subjective value. So, uh, you have anarchists that are creating, like they create the nap, and and they and they make the yeah. nap an absolute rule. It's like beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's the nap is the nap is the nap, and self ownership is self ownership is self ownership, and and then they start defining things very rigidly, and rather than I believe. What they've done is basically what the status has done. They are, and I'm not going to say this is, I don't want to speak, you know, like I'm not speaking to every single person who believes this, but I believe this is generally true, that they're creating a condition where they don't have to face the responsibility of their decision to reject the state. Because when you reject the state, you you are rejecting good things that the state may actually do. Yeah. And I actually talked to I talked I had a, I had a really heavy show with um, Tobias uh, with with Mad Love and um, you did Mad Love without me ta- ta- bastards what? oh that's right I was sleeping yeah essentially they uh, basically he said he owes this whole, he he basically the the state and government health care saved his life yeah the state does good things I mean there there's nothing that is all purely bad or or whatever I mean. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the subject with within the framework of preference. If you start with the framework of preference, it's good for human beings to exist. It's good for the human race to continue to exist. If that's your, if if that's a, if that's a preference of yours, then within that preference, then there is very little. There is there is hardly any instance where individuals or entities, and the state is an entity, don't have an element of good to them. <laughs> You right. can't avoid it. Good and bad. And, <laughs> and the best of the best have elements of bad to them. So you can't... Even, 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 even within elements of the state, we, 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 see, we, we see this all the time um, with certain criminal cases or, 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 or um, murderers or whatever in this. And a lot of anarchists will be like, well, good. Fuck that guy. But you're still <laughs> justifying state violence. You just have a preference that it happens to that guy. Right. Exactly. That's... And... Uh, that's the essence of what when I say no one deserves too, because it, what that does is put the responsibility on you, on you. If you don't like this murderer, you're not putting that on anyone else. You need to take responsibility and do it yourself. Well, unless it would be uh, too costly. Unless I it mean, would be too costly. If it would, if it, if it would ruin other preferences that you have. <laughs> you know, you got to take that into consider. You got a cost to benefit uh, analysis here, right. uh, as always. Uh, but, but to me, I mean, I, I believe, I believe in something that that not a lot of anarchists do. I, I believe in Christ. I believe in Scripture. I believe that God has set the absolute laws, and that when you violate His laws, that there's a fairly decent chance that something bad will happen to you. And I don't mean like God punishes you. I mean like kind of like in the same way the law of physics. If you violate the law of gravity, uh, well, you really there's a pretty good can. chance that it – well, if you – if you do something that, like, you know, if you're gonna deny, what, what if you're gonna deny the law of gravity and step outside of a twenty-story building, you might suffer a bad consequence. There's a fairly decent chance that you would. So that's what I mean. I, by... and I call those self-correcting problems. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so, but I don't pretend to actually fully understand what God's absolute laws, standards, whatever you want to call them are. Lest you be God himself. Right, lest I be God myself. So so I, I, I still talk within the framework of uh, subjective value. And it's interesting is I see anarchists, ANCAPs, will get into yeah. arguments with the ANCOMs. And, and, and the argument is legit. The ANCOMs talk about the labor theory of value. And the standard response to that argument is always value is a sub- is subjective. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you, value you is subjective. Have, so the first you thing have you to have go to go any further. Yeah, like if you're going to have a debate about whether you should do this or whether you should do that, then the first starting point is, hey, do we have the same preference? Maybe, yeah. maybe we don't. Have the, if we don't have the same preference, we're not even arguing over the same thing. And please don't tell me that there's uh, some sort of objective definition for what you should prefer there's nothing objectively that tells me that i should prefer to live another second 
Nothing. No. But that's that's where a lot of and this is where the ANCAPs lose the argument with me. Uh, because they start to go that well, you can't violate this, you can't violate that because no one would prefer that. And it's like, well, well you don't know how someone else understands the world. You don't know how they value their own life. Well, you don't know how they value Well your life. well, the overwhelming majority of people would prefer that. What number? Then we're right. going to get into that. And I think we talked about this on another show. Uh, 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 the, 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 the perfect rebuttal to that is uh, so essentially bring up the taxation as theft argument. Well, if if uh, if 100% tax of your of your wage is slavery, uh, when does it does it become – is it not slavery at 99%, 50%, or right. about 1%? Right. If it's slavery at any percent, it's, it's, it's slavery. It's slavery. Yeah. See, yeah. It, it works in the – <laughs> it works it will, the other way as it, well. Okay. And they're the ones that talk about consistency. Come on. I mean, basically, when I, when I talk to people, and you, you know, Stefan Molov News, UPB, which I, I think <laughs> that there's a fair number of ANCAPs that follow that, but a no. lot of ANCAPs don't necessarily follow that. And, uh, yeah, I don't understand the universe. And, <laughs> and, 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 and ANCAPs are pretty varied, so I'm, I'm really sp speaking of certain types of. Uh, and caps because they're they're pretty varied and actually I I like I, I get along with most end caps just fine. Actually, I get along oh, with yeah. a fair number of incomes as well. But that's I, another I story. Don't. I get I get along like I can talk to them and uh, where what I, where I can't get into is uh, any income. There are incomes that believe in uh, force uh, that you know the a brief uh, period of time for force to physically. Uh, sees the means of production. I don't. I I, I find that it's difficult okay. to talk to that group. <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to talk about at the Liberty Fest too. That's going to be tied into my talk about self-employment, uh, seizing the means of production. Yeah, but what that really what what that could mean. What that what that could mean. Uh, I mean, if you're talking about seizing the means of production in, uh, with without... we're talking about seizing the means of someone else's production. Then you got you, a problem. You, if you're talking you, about securing the means of your own production. Yeah, you can secure, you can seize the means of production by outcompeting the 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 systems that you don't like. <laughs> That's fine. Go right ahead. Uh, yeah. But uh, what 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 ANCAPs when when they say to me a certain group of ANCAPs when they say to me, you know, with the the Molyneux UPB argument uh Molyneux will say well and i might be getting this wrong but it's uh if you wouldn't do it to yourself then it's it's a universally preferred behavior i mean notice he uses the word preferred preferred right. which is subjective right in and of very connotation and of right it's it's a, it's an oxymoron uh uh but uh, but uh i mean he you could say that i mean rape is bad okay now, see, I, I believe that uh, yeah. because I have another preference, I have two. I have uh, I've identified one preference that I have. And one preference that I have is, uh, well, two prefer preferences. I prefer you might not even be able. To, you might not even be able to actually identify all of your preferences. That's something course, I struggle with. Of course with. not. Of course not. No, none of us will ever fully identify our prefer preferences. The more you know, the more. Uh, in in ownership of your own thoughts and responsibility for your own thoughts, uh, you are. The more you know. The more you know. And uh, okay, thank you. Uh, so I, my one preference that I've identified is that I prefer that human beings live. Two, I prefer that the human race continue to exist. And I'll say three, I prefer that the human race, the human uh, race thrives. And I can go into a long story. Well, what, what does thrive mean? But I'm going to identify right. the fourth thing. And the fourth thing is that I prefer that human being. well, actually, I don't even have to identify a fourth thing, the third thing, human beings thrive. So because I prefer that human beings thrive, starting from that uh, uh, starting point, uh, thriving, I do not find rape to be palatable. It interferes with my preference that human beings thrive. Right. So within my framework of preference, rape is bad. Mm -hmm. I and I and honestly, vehem I will vehemently, I will vehemently. I will be like, <laughs> let me Vi let me do some virtue signaling. I'm against rape. Gosh darn it! 
like you really have like most people really have to say that like and huh? and, and and i think i think it's fairly it's a, a very fairly good argument could be could be made that uh maybe 99 percent of people i don't know i'm not saying it's that high maybe it is 99 percent of people prefer that the human race dies i don't know i bet you it's not but but, but. Even if it was okay so it's 99 percent, and then there's that one percent that one percent that tells you automatically it's not a universally preferred behavior because not everyone prefers it clearly clearly until you can prove that and i don't think we've taken a survey of the complete earth i don't right and and and, and we're not even sure we know every human if you exists. go by that logic you're a democrat you are <laughs> you are a, a super majority democrat is what you are and all we mm -hmm. have to do is find the percentage the percentage of people that will determine what your absolute value is that that's what you are you're you're a super yeah. majority democrat <laughs> that's what you are that's essentially what it is yeah uh, and 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 that gets into some essence of even socialism and these people are so vehemently against socialism to me this whole being afraid to face the reality that value is subjective is a to fundamentally mistrust humans it's to say yeah. listen human beings will only do the right thing whatever the right thing is what, human beings will <laughs> will only not rape each other and not murder each other if we could convince them that there's these absolute standards for why they shouldn't do it. Rather yeah, than human beings can own their thoughts, and I trust that if they own their thoughts, I feel pretty good that the preponderance of human experience will create standards against rape. And st I, I actually believe even standards for property, but that's a, another story. And that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes things easier. I, I, I have complied with most property rights. I, I pay my rent. Well, you've complied, but have you complied like, uh, I've done this because I do this. Uh, not not only do I do it because I fear the re uh, repercussions if I don't, but because, yeah, this totally reflects my values, my preferences. I understand it actually doesn't reflect my values. Okay. But I also understand the necessity of but the it, context. But it does I'm reflect in. a value. It does. The value it does reflect a value. A it's a value, value judgment. Well, no, it reflects this value. I value... Uh, not being, uh, uh, I, I, I value living in a, a room that's heated during the winter. <laughs> I really value that. I that's value. Really, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So because I value that, I'm going to go ahead and pay rent. What the heck? Right. <laughs> right? What the heck? Right? And you Why may not? pragmatically, even if you're against land or against property, which I don't think you're against property. I'm not saying that. But even if you did, I could see you pragmatically deciding, not you, the general you. You know what? I'm uh, totally against this whole land property thing, but you know what? Um, in the circumstance and what I'm facing right now, I'm gonna totally. I'm gonna own this. I'm gonna go ahead and buy land. It's yeah. like me. I own my home, even though I know I don't. <laughs> but yet, even though I know I don't own my home because the government owns it, which is a reflection of of power, not a reflection of any absolute truth. Right. Uh, well, I guess it is a form of truth. Power is a form of truth. So it is the, the truth of power. Uh, e even though I know that I still will act and behave as if this is my home. Bodhi's going to be at my house at the uh, end of the, the month. And if he were to walk into my home and, and smoke inside my house, I'm... Well, actually, I think it'd be vaped. It'd be okay. Vaping is like... I don't know. But anyway, just say just say theoretically. If he smoked in my house, I'd be like, no, no, this is my house. You need to stop that or get the heck out. I'm assuming ownership, man, even though I know. And I even know. before I vape, I'll be like, yo, can I vape in here? And you'd be like, no, I don't agree with your sexual preference. Right. <laughs> right. Because, yes, because that, whatever. I don't know where that I, came from, but. Because <laughs> vape, vape, vape is supposedly gay. Oh, is it? I yeah. wasn't even aware of this. See, Everybody makes fun of vapors. I don't swim in your circles. I don't, I don't know how you guys go. I'm, I don't swim. I don't swim in circles a, unless it's switch, like a round pool. Not, not a switch hitter. You know what I'm saying? No. I stay on I the play one for, side I, of the plate. I I, I play for one team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't I've, know about that. Well, I've been in situations. 
and it's not my preference. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. It does not match my preference. <laughs> uh, I've been a victim of circumstance and a thumb. I I didn't like it. There there were thumbs involved, and there was uh, the reversal of positioning had occurred. There, well, actually, I was I was I was still in I was still in position, and then there was an addition. Oh, so there was a. Wow, so that was like a, kind of like an Ouroboros kind of thing that was about ready to happen there. Oh, yeah. And that there might even be a rubber um, something or other on, on a rooftop in New York City because it went right out the window. What? Just saying. Um, wow. That's... Well, I certainly – that wasn't going to fucking go anywhere. I don't even – I definitely don't want to see the computer animation version of that story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, Tomo News does the computer. Oh, no, no. Next on Tomo News, <laughs> Bodie's butthole. <laughs> let's just say it. Let's just say it. <laughs> My butthole I prefers it not there. to. Yeah, it's an exit only. Um, <laughs> it's uh, that is an exit wound. Okay, and let's just keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it flows. Let's just keep it that way. It's fine. That that's an Audi. It's an Audi. <laughs> Wow, this has been a constructive show, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a fantastic show. Wow. How been... many times have we talked about that live? I don't know. A few times. Many times. A few many times. times. It, 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 the, do you want to tell them again? Even I'm sure not everybody's heard the story yet of how you how you paid yourself to punch yourself in the nads. Uh, I punched myself in the yeah, my brother uh, dared me to uh, punch myself in the nuts for oh. twenty bucks. Yeah, and 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 he had the twenty dollar bill right there, right and there, man, like, right there. He saw the twenty. All right, wham! I was I was doubled over on the ground, uh, in pain. Um, and they were laughing, and it was a great time. And he handed me the twenty bucks, and I I went into my room to put it in my wallet to find that the twenty dollars I had in there was, was not there. So in as a, <laughs> you paid yourself. I, I essentially punch myself in the nuts for free. It's kind of like what you do when you pay taxes. It's kind of like what you do when you pay taxes. You punch yourself in the nuts for free. That's exact. It's the same much, thing. Pretty much. Although you think you got. I was like, oh no, no. It's it's when you get the the tax return. That's when that's when it is. That's yeah. That's that, well, that's it. when you go to your wallet and you're like, yeah, I got twenty. Oh uh, wait, that was. Oh man. Hey, you know, yeah. You get at the end of the year, you're like, man, I've been. I've been punching myself in the nuts all year long, but I'm getting that juicy tax return. Oh, that's my money. Oh, and, and oh. that goes that goes right against UPV because you could say, well, no one would prefer to punch themselves in the nuts. I don't think that's true, though. I proved that wrong. Well, well, that's well. No, you didn't prefer in in in. I I was. Did you prefer to punch Ooh. yourself in the nuts or did you prefer the perceived benefit of punching yourself? Well, actually, everything we choose is, is because we have a preferred – we believe it, right. there's a benefit to us. I mean – I believe that I benefited from punching myself in the nuts. Lo <laughs> yeah, and behold, so, I so didn't. You, you preferred to punch yourself in the nuts. But I could also say that now that I have that story to talk about, I am benefiting from it still to this day. It's the right. gift that keeps on giving. It is. It, well, it was one of the first stories I heard when I met you and I was like, I was like, hmm. This guy's a little loopy. Lock or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those uh, lock or no stories. So, so essentially, uh, where are we at here, man? This is your show. Where are we driving. at here? We're at about 30 minutes. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, what else, what else can we get? Do we do we really want to specifically go into the 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 the, the, the border argument as as a relevant? You. It's up to you, man. Because I, I, oh, utility, Austrian talk. And then neither one of you exists. Hi, Dylan. Oh, did Dylan say none of one of us exists? Awesome. Not yet. Neither number one of you exists. And we don't. Neither, no, that's true. That's true. We don't. We are just pixels on your phones or tablets or, or computer screens. You believe we exist, maybe. Even though it is a performative contradiction, I am aware of my own non-existence. <laughs> <laughs> the universe has become aware. Uh, the universe is sentient. Except Basically. I'm not. Oh. But yeah, well, um, what happened today? I got blocked. 
I got blocked over this preference argument. Um, the, 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 the issue was essentially the, the closed, or closed, closed or open border argument. Yeah, well, uh, except I'm not arguing for open borders or closed. I'm, no, I, I'm arguing against having the argument in the first place. Right. That's what I'm arguing. I am arguing and saying it's a stupid argument that's pointless and uh, it's it's not going to get us anywhere. It basically facilitates the existence of the state. Subjectively so, I'm saying yes. I mean, I'm not... Because whether, you, whether I, you're talking about open borders or closed borders, you're affirming the human construct known as borders. I, and, 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 and I am actually for... For very utilitarian, pragmatic, uh, preferential reasons, I am for the perpetuation of the human standard or the standard of borders, border standards. I'm border for standards. it. I'm totally for border standards, uh, subjectively so, because it fits within my framework of uh, preference. The framework of preference that it fits within is that I prefer that individuals, especially especially myself, and really because of myself first and foremost, that individuals have the greatest opportunity to, 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 to decide for themselves how to live their lives. And I believe that I believe that property standards, border standards are useful within that framework of preference. I don't what believe, I, want to know. I don't believe that coercive enterprise defined borders are useful at all. In satisfying no. my frame of uh, my 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 my, uh, my framework of preference, and I mean, you you even see this in, in greater social studies and stuff, and and the study will have different borders, different lines on a page, marking certain uh, location or, or, or how how do you say it? Prox um, approximations. Demarcations. Uh, yeah, collect. Yeah, basically, just just for convenience. And that map is drawn completely different than someone else. And then you can even talk about how maps are are merely projections of, of, of the globe and that they're not even that accurate. It's more of an assumption at that point. It's, it's convenience. Wait a second. Christina, what do you mean we can no longer Chris be friends? What the heck? Okay, never mind. I misunderstood you, lol. Christina, what do you mean we can what? no longer be friends? What, what the, the heck? heck? Okay, never mind. I misunderstood you, lol. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. What didn't she like? What the hell is that? Mean? I don't this get is, it. This is what I hate about Facebook comments. One, there's there's a delay, and two, people don't add any context to their comment. Dylan Robinson is right, though. He probably made the best comment so far. He did. Sorry. No one exists. No one exists, man. No one exists. But, but I prefer... It's a preference. But I, I prefer, prefer I prefer to not be the only entity. I actually prefer to continue to exist such as it is within the mirage of existence. I yeah, find otherwise it useful. I'd... I find it useful in my non existence to entertain the idea that I exist. It, yeah. It fills me with joy. Uh subjective I, I, joy, no doubt. I, I think I know enough now that I could end that at any point if I if I really didn't want to. If you that you could end existence like definitively, yeah. you really think? But you I might can? even be wrong. You might be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, I you, could wake up in fire and brimstone. Oh, crap. Or you could you could wake up a giant spaghetti monster. Right. Or I come back worshipped by leotard. another planet. <laughs> or I come back as a leotard on a on a on a on a horribly grotesque obese woman or something. That specific like. That's pretty specific. You're like, so like I just I die and come back as as a, yeah as a sweaty camel toe. That'd be awful. Wow. This is, a, this is a quality show, ladies and gentlemen. This is a quality show. What do you prefer to die and come back as? So so I guess the the argument is that why are we having this argument? Why is it why and and that and that's yeah. that's my reason for for speaking out as I have as of late. I'm not mm -hmm. arguing for closed borders. And I'm not arguing for open borders. I'm 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 arguing for us to forget about it and to let the state is state and uh, go forward with the business of of actually creating real power, power that changes, that 
uh, enables because because I because I, I I do believe that a significant portion of people will will prefer that humans continue to live, that humans continue to thrive, and that humans have as much power to live the lives as they see as they choose. I believe that that an overwhelming majority of people, if 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 that 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 they they can if, if whether they're there or not that they can come to this place, mm-hmm. and so let's get to the business of of proving that following the standards that emerge from within those frameworks of perspective, that those standards can produce prosperity and and a, a degree of security and uh, happiness within those uh, preferences that the state but- cannot. Now, if you say this is this is something I got stuck on earlier that I want to go back to, but when you say that you think most people would prefer that humans exist, now there there is a there is a division in in that thought. Okay. Go ahead. And that is which humans? Because we can get into do, do you prefer murderers and rapists exist? They are humans. Do you prefer they live? I prefer that humans exist and that humans that do things. But as long as one person is left, humans exist. That's what, that's where the thriving comes in. Okay. Two people. No, that would not be my definition of thriving. Now, by the way, that's, a, but a, now a, a, that's in order point. for some humans now, to now, thrive, if you want to find people that walk with you, okay, you're going to need to define to make sure that, Hey, when you say thrive, what do you mean? Oh, I thrive yeah. like the ten best, smartest people in the world. If they're alive, then we're thriving. Who we? No, that's okay. not my oh, definition oh, oh. of thriving. Okay, Plato. Or yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want philosopher kings to rule over philosopher. What kings. could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Right. The idea that one type of uh, discipline can see all interactions, all human interactions, and and be able to engineer for it, which is ludicrous. That's why mm. science, scientism is so idiotic. Because it's Ryan, the same type of thing. Ryan Mick goes, one person left wouldn't allow them to exist. They'd cease to exist. Well, they'd exist until they didn't. Right. Well, if they're aware of it. What if they're well, not? Well, I mean, again, assuming that anybody exists. But yeah. I mean, just, just, uh, and then Christine goes, stupid people should cease to exist. That's your preference, Christine. That's not that, mine. I find, that is, I find stupid yeah, that people is, to be incredibly I, I, useful because I'm one of them. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm Seriously. dumb. Seriously. You don't wish me out of existence, Christine, even if it is But an that's illusion. not what I mean. Don't wish You're me out of existence. You're not stupid. Don't wish On you. whose authority? Right. Exactly. You're going to have to now now we have to define what do you okay, what do you mean by stupid people? Right. Uh, because uh, there but, are plenty uh, of stupid people that are really nice and they're great people and I love them. I'm one of them. Me too, man. Yeah, Paul's one of them too. Mm-hmm. But that's why when I when I talked earlier and I, I I said the word thrive, I immediately said I could deconstruct that word. But for the sake of time or whatever, I wasn't yeah. going to at that moment. But yeah, that that word thrive. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because you can have a a, a select right now. You could say that the human race is thriving at the hands of the state. It's it's never been more. I mean, if your definition of thriving is just numbers alone. Now, my, my definition of thriving would not be numbers alone because you could get to a point where numbers could actually hasten the demise of humanity where too many numbers because you could strip the planet bare. Unless, of course, you know, you develop space travel and found other planets and that's another Star Trek kind of uh, whatever. But And then, then we can get into pure numbers. And be like, yeah, but, but my definition of thriving would not be pure numbers. And I would actually have to think about it. When I say thrive... I understand at a deep level, which I cannot articulate because uh, uh, there's a knowledge that people possess, which uh, I think it comes it comes before the words. Uh, it's deeper than the words. And you have to really contemplate and think about it and then flush it out with the words before you can finally get the right types of words to, to framework uh, what, what you actually believe. All right. Like I could say, like just in general, I, and, and and every word that I'm saying here, then I could go through a deconstruction process with that. Thriving is 
uh, the the most amount of the the highest percentage possible of of human beings uh, have the ability to not toil to uh, uh, too long to get what they need to survive and to enjoy life such as they define enjoying life without harming others. Mm -hmm. That would be like a, a definition of thriving. And then you can come on in and you can deconstruct those words. Yeah. It can, it can just keep going. It could just uh. keep going until you get to a point where you're like, okay, listen, I understand, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I've gone far enough with that deconstruction. I know what I mean, and I, I'm just going to judge the actions of others that I'm associating with to kind of figure out generally if they're in the right ballpark. If they're yeah. in the right ballpark, great. You're part, you know, we, we want we want more or less the same thing. Great. And, and I, if you're not, and if you're not, I'm going to find you. Foo, you bitch. No, I'm just kidding. To get the hell out of Yeah, to pretty get the much. Hell away. Pretty much get, get away from you as fast as I possibly No, not as fast as I possibly can. Okay, I may find, right. may find a utilitarian reason to stay associated, uh, associated mm -hmm. with you. Ryan's Ryan's got a comment here. My trouble with the pro border libertarians is that they go right for the preemptive. Right. Helicopters just for thought. Right. But that right. thought this, is preemptive to be statist. This is yes. my problem with yes. it's like I, I can actually like there are some people that argue for closed borders that I can have a conversation with. It's pretty constructive. And, you know, we're, 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 I won't say we agree to disagree because I do not agree to disagree with anybody. But, uh, I, I, we, 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 we say, okay, we can still have some measure of peace between us, even though we disagree on this. Uh, yeah. but, uh, the people that I'm, I'm really ticked I can off even, with. I can I can even respect someone's preference that I disagree with because yeah. it's more trouble for me to, to, to do anything about. Right, right. The the people that I have a problem with when it comes to the closed border folks, and really even you know the if you're going to make an open border argument, I I haven't ever met an anarchist that actually argued for open borders, but I mean maybe they exist, maybe I, I just maybe they don't talk to me, I don't know. Uh, but usually the anarchists that I meet are one, uh, the whole border debate is stupid, uh, or two, closed borders, and the whole border debate people. Uh, is stupid people will they, they you know uh, again some of them go to the well you're a commie uh, you're a yeah. Nazi you're a fascist right away that's exactly what, and, what, what, what happened to me with that when I said oh I don't respect property rights yeah my, my issue with people like Jared Howe <laughs> is again what they are doing is they are framing an argument within this this idea that they have discovered what no one has discovered in the history of fucking humanity. <laughs> these, these absolute standards for value. No one has ever discovered that. But somehow, Stefan Molyneux has. Somehow, Jared Howe has. No, no, you haven't. And just no, own haven't. up to your preference. I prefer whatever your preference is. I probably will take you more seriously when you want to argue about closed borders. I will. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I won't agree with you, but I, I probably listen to you more. I'm not going to listen to you if you're telling people that if you reject closed borders, that you're a commie. No, I don't have any time for you. You might as well just leave. I, I, I don't. I don't have how the time you, of day to talk you? to you. How do you even get that? I don't. You, you, I, don't the, I don't know the, how you the, get the, that. The, they must they, – they're, they're taking someone else's argument that they've witnessed and argued with, and they've turned out to be a commie or something. Or they've heard someone say that they're commies. <laughs> and, and then they're projecting that into the argument where it hasn't even been said yet. Right. Well, I, and, I, I, and they're assuming say, if you're arguing – I mean uh, – you know, if you're saying that, uh, you know, supporting closed borders is stupid, that you're saying supporting open borders is wrong. No, supporting borders, supporting state borders is stupid. Period. Yeah. Period. End of. And, and I'm going to say subjectively so. It is subjectively stupid. And I am talking to people that I have assumed, which I am not so sure about now, but I have assumed that people have generally the same preferences that I do, which is, yeah. hey, human beings should live. 
Human beings should thrive. Human beings, I really like it when I, well, I personally really want to have the most power to make my own decisions freely without uh, some overt coercive uh, uh, threat uh, changing my uh, decision path. Mm -hmm. And I recognize that for me to have that, it's really good if other people have that power too, because if they don't, they're probably going to be much more likely to coerce against me <laughs> and to yeah. advocate for, for things like the central, the, the coercive enterprise to coerce against me. I mm -hmm. assumed that that's what are we, what, what many, you know, people call themselves anarchists, that that was, that was the, uh, the, 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 the preferences that we all shared, but now I'm not so sure. When yeah. and, and 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 so yes, uh, if you want to argue for open borders, then what you're saying is you advocate for the state to forcefully keep open borders. You are advocating for police force, for state force. I'm not for that. If some no. if some you know somebody has a farm on the on the on the border, the quote unquote border with Mexico, and they say, "Hey man, come on over," and then the state wants to come in and stop them, I'm like, "Dude, dude." Dude, yeah, what the hell? dude, what the hell? And what then, the hell? and then, and then it's the other side. And 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 I believe that the. I, I mean, it's, I, you know, anybody who's actually advocating for forced open borders, I've never talked to those people, but I'm sure they exist. I I, I just don't think that they're as bad as the people who are advocating for closed borders. No, because I believe within my framework of preference, when you're arguing for closed borders, you're talking about empowering a central authority that you know full well is controlled by a small number of families. This is a business. It is a coercive business. Uh, I call it the coercive enterprise because uh, enterprise is a, lar a large business, essentially. So this is a business. Uh, the business is power, whether it's money, land, resources, whatever families have to acquire and hold on to and keep getting that's the business. And you are saying that you are going to go ahead and trust a small number of these families to set up a wall and to define who is legal and who is illegal, who is mm -hmm. desirable to enter into the American market and who is not. I don't think that you can get any more fundamentally awry of the preference that individuals be allowed to make their own decisions. And, and your argument is that by letting in these folks, you are going to be allowing them to be, or they're, they're going to become tax burdens. Okay. Well, right. first off, so, so uh, then the problem's tax. The problem's tax. Okay. So the problem, you know, once, you know, the problem is tax. It's not these people getting a tax. Uh, I mean, every all of your neighbors around you are advocating for benefiting from taxation in some way, shape, or form. Every single yeah. person around you, and whether it's the quote-unquote illegal immigrant or whatever, everyone's your enemy if that's the case. Uh, and and so your argument is that they are – well, first off, you, you can't even prove that they're going to be a tax burden. It depends on what study you look at. I mean, they're pretty mm -hmm. wide and varied, the studies that I've seen. Uh, one study is like, they're absolutely a benefit. Oh, they cost billions. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And, and good and luck. It, good good most luck. Of the, most of those studies, they have like a sample size of like a thousand people. Yeah, whatever it is. It's, it's, or something. It's just like, it's not even statistically significant to, to, to any, any relevant data. It's, it's so absurd the, the amount of confirmation bias people sink, seek. Yeah, good good luck. Good luck finding an objective study that actually proves your point. But let's just say that they are a tax burden. Okay, so I, you, could, you could argue as a closed border person, you could argue and say, you know, pragmatically, you know, they're taking more of our stuff and, uh, you know, you're for people being able to have the, 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 the free choice to, to do with what they want to with their lives. Uh, I mean, taxation is tough, so... You know, you, you, you don't want to allow more people to come in and, and, and steal from you, do you? And my response to that is yeah. we live in a culture that accepts theft. It's like it's, it's, it's a given. It's every single person around me accepts theft. 
all, well, not every single person, but, but you know, 99%, but, whatever it is, whatever, I don't know if anarchists are even 1% of it, uh, but, but whatever it is, they, they accept, it's, it's like theft, it's, 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 it's okay, it, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly normal. So, so is my battle with the, 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 the people from Mexico who accept a culture of theft? Or my battle with the people who are already here who accept a culture of theft. My battle is 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 with myself, really, first and foremost, right. to escape that 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 pattern of thought that accepts theft, and and then takes yeah. action to try to limit my liability to that theft culture. <laughs> to me, that's that's a much more interesting discussion for us to be having, rather than right. well, let's try and figure out the ways that we can influence the state to to give ourselves a better chance here or less of a chance there, you know, it, it's essentially, it's essentially it treating Good luck. the whole border argument is like treating the symptoms. It's like, I'm depressed. So here have these pills that might help you kill yourself or, or might, might influence suicidal thoughts. To me, the whole border, border it's, argument, it's like, well, you, 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 you're, you're not even focused on the problem. To, to me, focus, it's, it's a top layer. It's a top layer. It's so superficial. Yeah, to me, the border argument is, listen, I can fully and perfectly understand all of the machinations of the state and how it affects us. And I'm here to tell you that this is how we manipulate the state to assure that we have the best chance for liberty. And I say to that, read Mises, <laughs> you know, read Human Action. Uh, <laughs> uh, read the law of unintended consequences. You think... You think that by uh, you prefer? Well, I'm I'm I'm, not, I'm talking within a framework of of uh, I'm assuming within a, a framework of preference that we all want the same thing. We want more people to be able to live their own lives as they so choose, with the least bit of uh, forceful, overt, coercive influence. Influence, uh, and um, what what I'm saying here essentially is. You just don't know when you pull a lever over here, what lever over there is going to run. So I say, I say, I'm not saying ignore the state because I mean I don't ignore the state. I pay my taxes, although I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working to head down a path where I am less and less liable to that system. I want to get out of that, but uh, I, I recognize I make a calculated decision uh, for my own well-being to operate and recognize the, the, the real power that the quote unquote state has around me. If I get arrested and I am being charged with something that I didn't do, or if I did it and it's not something that, you know, didn't really harm anybody, a quote unquote victimless crime, you bet if I can afford it, I'm going to hire the best freaking lawyer I can. I'm going to play the game, man. I'm going to do yep. whatever I can within the state system to avoid the, uh, uh, detrimental action being taken against me by the but it doesn't mean you advocate it i don't advocate it and as much as possible as much as possible i seek to move the state out of the conversation and to move <laughs> it more into the conversation of what are you doing what am i what mo most when i say you i mean most importantly what am i what is paul gordon doing to uh reduce his liability to a culture of theft and murder and kidnapping and finding people that are doing the same. And when I find people and when we all find one another, we, we, we do business with one another. We, you know, we, we, we you know, we, we get enough people. Eventually we'll have doctors. We'll have uh, teachers. We'll have car mechanics. We'll have people that we can go to and say, dude, can you do this for me? You know, I'll give you this. Yeah. We'll barter. We'll use our own. Maybe we'll create our own digital currencies, not just Bitcoin or whatever. But uh, ah, I'm probably. I'm interested in those conversations. I'm would, sick of the border debate. Yeah. Now, would you apply that same logic? I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about the logic of like going through court and stuff, hiring a lawyer and stuff. Would you apply that same logic to voting? I would. For me, I. I I don't. I don't think voting is. I think voting is a mirage. I don't think. I think it's yeah. I don't useless. think it's effective. I don't think it's effective. But uh, hiring a lawyer to represent you in court is 
I, quite useful. I, I would say for me, the, 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 the line that I would cross as far as utilizing the tools of the state is where I face an immediate, obvious, direct threat from the state. Not something that maybe I can... You know, like like what the what the closed border folks do, they're creating this standard. You want to create a standard and set a precedent that I'm going to look at this thing, which I believe theoretically possibly could maybe uh, uh, negatively affect me. The only way it's going, the 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 the, the way that it could possibly negatively effectively uh, affect you is the degree to which you're still liable. You're still in liability to that system, and I don't know how many mm -hmm. of us can fully remove ourselves from the liability of the system, but we could certainly reduce that liability, which I think is a much more interesting uh, discussion yeah. and, and much more fruitful work than, than putting all the time and effort and energy that many of these folks, these closed border folks are doing debating and, and, and they're they're I mean, some of them are, they're supporting candidates. I mean, they supported Trump and, and, and all, and they're, and they're putting, they're putting time, effort, energy, resources into running political campaigns and running for office. And they're, they're doing all this stuff so that they could stop the Mexicans from, from increasing their liability to the state. That's their logic. That's what yep. they're saying. I want to stop the Mexicans from Cre increasing my so. liability to the state that is not taking responsibility for yourself and that is that is setting a precedent for for continued dependence on the state because i can come up with all kinds of uh, reasons why i would suddenly justify using state mechanisms to harm others because the state mechanisms might theoretically if i don't harm those people then the they state could harm me could eventually harm me right yeah which is all the more reason to limit the mechanism of the state yeah it's like those homosexuals you know right those, those dang homosexuals they're i'm a christian you know you don't want to catch we, the gay listen listen i'm 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 all about liberty and all that but 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 really i gotta be pragmatic here if if these mm -hmm. homosexuals if it's legal for homosexuals to marry dude i mean they could threaten me they could you know they've already done it they've shut down businesses listen i'm for liberty but See, that's the road that you're taking yeah. us down, close border. People. I'm for liberty, but <clears throat> by the way, I don't advocate for that at all. I'm not. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, we I'm, got you. I'm not we for understand. trying to protect myself from a distant threat. I'm for protecting myself from an immediate, right in my face threat. Like it's obvious. Like the state has right. arrested me and charged me with a crime. It's not a theoretical discussion that I'm having at that point. Mm-hmm. Even punishment should be decided by you, not the state. I wouldn't say should. And I would say, Ryan, yeah. that uh, I believe that in uh, voluntary free association communities that you will have some form of uh, community. And for even if the I mean, one of the most powerful punishments are some form of ostracism, uh, social, yeah. social rejection. And I don't uh, think you, you can decide I mean, that by it, yourself. No, you almost can't. Uh, there's even people... Uh, if you have a shitty attitude, if you just have a shitty attitude, people aren't people don't want to talk to you. Yeah, just in general, people just you know like okay, you're, you're uh, even if, if if you're just boring, <laughs> even if you're right. just boring, people are gonna want to yeah. talk to you less. I mean, you may be exciting to other people, but if you're boring to that person, they're like oh, whatever. Uh, but 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 even punishment, you 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 don't do punish and unless you are out in the middle of nowhere. And the person that you are punishing has no other connections to the world. If that's the case, then yeah, you can arbitrarily uh, inflict punishment. But but if you live in a community and you're trying to punish someone that has connections, no, you you don't punish you don't punish and avoid. There will be consequences. They, right. You will be held accountable, uh, rightly or wrongly. Uh, well, when I say rightly or wrongly, time. I mean within the framework of of a preference. Within a preference, mm -hmm. and 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 it, yeah, exactly. But we can I mean, we're 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 hitting. We're hitting there. We're, we're done. We're we're over an hour. I think we're, we've beaten this horse. I I don't think we've beaten it. I think we. I know we didn't beat a horse yeah. yet. If we continue, we, keep, we might. No, I'm I'm fine. Going. Actually, no. I think right here we have not beat the horse. If we can continue, the horse might get a little beaten. Right now, the horse is like he's worked up a lather, just won the Kentucky Derby, and now he's like, yeah. dude. 
October, we won. Well, we didn't really win, but whatever. Let's There's no we winning. Won. There's no winning. Nope. Uh, except within the framework of preference. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Mm, no. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. Unless you start – unless uh, if you have two people who share a framework of preference, then you can talk about right and wrong. Then somebody well, can be right then, and somebody can be wrong. Right. Then together they're right. But not necessarily. Uh, I'm not, not necessarily. I'm just there's saying. No necess there's, there's no necessity. That's the thing. That sometimes two people are right even though they seem to be contradictory. It's just they're, they're, right. they're talking about different perspectives. Well, about that's, that's also why I usually consider uh, paradoxes not as a contradiction but paradoxes as a failure of the framework to communicate the idea. Boom. And on that Which note? Is, yeah. And on that note, thank you for watching. I had a, a little plug in for me. I'm, I'm going to be on tonight on uh, Liberty Principle with uh, a Professor Rambo. We're going to be talking full auto. We're going to be talking guns. And we're going to talk about the military switching to talking about, we're not totally switching to the 308, but continuing the 308. And tomorrow I am going to be on, also I'll, be, I'll carry this on the Liberty Principle page. Liberty Principle, uh, no cassette from the government. Uh, I'll be on the iState uh, show uh, with myself and uh, Luis uh, Fernandez um, Mises, and we are going to be talking. We're going to be talking about uh, uh, language. <laughs> we're talking about: Do you have a language that reflects a uh, spirit of of freedom or a spirit of uh, authority? Right. That's the discussion. Yeah, wow, that'll be a great show. I, yeah. I can't wait to watch it. Yep. You should watch it. You never watch my shows. I watch yours. You don't watch mine. I watch your shows. You only watch my shows when you're on them. I watch your show. Oh, well, I'm usually busy. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. I'll at least promote, promote that one. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm right. gonna click out of my thing now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching.